one of the legends that they told when I was a kid back in the 1950s. Around 1900, an old man, he went to town, <clears throat> went to the general store to get supplies for the winter to come. And as he'd done the buying and he started loading box after box into his wagon to head out, Next to that old general store was a beer joint. Well, three cowboys, young cowboys, they came out. One of them considered himself a gunslinger. So he took his old six-shooter out of his holster and said, Dance, old man. He started shooting under that old man's feet. Well, the old man tried to do a jig the best he could, keep from getting shot. That kid fired all six shots. That old man, as soon as the kid ran out, of, ran out of ammunition, he walked over to his wagon. He reached over and he grabbed his 12-gauge shotgun, double-barrel 12-gauge shotgun, and he shoved that in the face of that kid. Well, that kid was more than scared. The old man, he said the statement, you ever kiss a horse's butt before? And that kid shaking in his boots said, No, sir, but I'd sure like to try. I'd sure like to try. I know there's a lot of people anti-gun, but let's take a look at it this way. Over there in Paris, if just one person would have been armed and saved the day, there wouldn't have needed 80,000 law enforcement to try to fix what one man would have been able to, or one woman, with an armed firearm. Just saying. There's a place for firearms. And until this world becomes a utopia, you got to figure there's going to be some predators out there. And if you keep your people as defenseless as sheep, there will be wolves and they will show up and they will do a lot of damage, no matter where you are. Well, anybody can do it once, Let's see if we can do it twice. Go ahead, try it again. Pretty good shooting, kid. Not bad. Not bad. Good old lady. <laughs>